And now we all know about Saul's athletic prowess on the field. Uh, but yes. what some people may not and know... And off the field. Well, what some people may not know is that off the field, he has had Ooh. not one, not two, but upwards of three girlfriends. Uh, you might call him a, a romancer and a tiny dancer. So I just, True. I would like to ask personally and for our fans if uh, the great Saul Yannick could give us an insight on some kissing and relationship tips. <laughs> Oh. With an emphasis on mm. kissing mechanics. Mm, mechanics. And like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. Saul, you're, a, you're, a, you're a, a heterosexual male, correct? That's that's true. I'm a cisgendered white straight male. Really unique. But I think I think your insight your insight can be, you know, useful to all creeds, you know, people who identify right. as as whatever you may identify as and however you are you are oriented. I think, I think this this advice, it it behooves you to listen to oh, this yeah. man. Oh yeah. Also, like everybody kisses. Like everybody's got a smooch sometimes. Even frogs. Mm, that's a great point. Even little dirty piggies. Right. I've got a smooch frog sometimes. Yeah. To turn back into a prince. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, that's no, not how that story works. Never mind. Give us the smooch tips. Yeah, so let me just start off to talk about uh, my career highlights, my career credentials. So as Dan said, I'm at at least uh, one romantic partner per seven years of my life on average. So Not bad. <laughs> he started dating at four, though. It was crazy. <laughs> I'm on sgannick.com forward slash resume, <laughs> and I'm seeing all three relationships. Yeah, Charlie, as you can out. see, so I'm good. elite because that's slash resume, not slash resume. If you do slash resume, it's actually yeah. porn. So <laughs> Yeah, it, just like, it resumes where Saul <laughs> left off last time he was watching porn. Right. So uh, as Dan loves to say, I would reserve the room for hours on end last year. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Starting at eight thirty. Really Starting at eight thirty, I would I would like to add. Most people a smooch lasts like smooch right. over. With Saul, the smooch lasts for upward of four and a half hours. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the most important part. Is it's an endurance game. Is lock lips and keep them locked. Right. Don't let those lips right. go. If you are if you're breaking uh, can contact, I just interrupt? Chooch, can you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to observe the master here and get some tips on how to get a uh, how to get a relationship that lasts. And right. you won't shut the fuck up. You've only had one girlfriend and boom. Honestly, and she's not even that hot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi Allison. Hi Allison. <laughs> Uh, who am I kidding? There's no fucking way she Allison is watching this. Allison, if you're listening, she's never. Allison, if you're listening, my Venmo is Saul hyphen Yannick. Request five dollars <laughs> for me on Venmo. All right, Charlie, honor yeah, the game. Agreed. Don't tell her about this. Allison, I will dead ass Venmo you five dollars. All right, Saul, would you please? <laughs> She'll would you never. please resume? I will resume. Um, so the key here is it's all about. Uh, Economy of motion, all right. <laughs> Could you unpack? <laughs> you get, that? Oh, yeah, I will. I will unpack that for sure. So, you know, you got her back to the room. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna say this in terms of me involved with a female, because that's what I know. But you can feel Thank free you. to code switch it to uh, yeah. your own your own scenario. To like me involved with right a female. or or not. Or me and a pig. Or like me involved with like a fun... Right, yeah, exactly. exactly. So, so I got this pig back in my uh, barn. So you've already reserved the room. <laughs> the barn. You're back in the barn. <laughs> and the pig is standing by the door. All right? So you've got to make, uh, make it clear that you want to take it to the bed top. All right? The bed... To the hay the, bale. The hay bale is where you want to be. So... Just hop up there. Put your little booty up there. And they will follow suit. Alright? It's your room. You're the leader. Alright? It's your hay bale. It's your world. Uh, yeah. Then you gotta uh, 
you're prepared. <laughs> you're obviously prepared. So you've got... Does that mean I'm hard? Mm, I, what I meant was you've got some hay. Right, you've got a bale as a backrest. A bale of hay. <laughs> got it. <laughs> oh, interesting. Right, because everyone knows that if there's no good place to sit on the bed, then there's no chance for endurance smoochatron. So you gotta sit on the on the. It's hay more of a recline. It's more of a recline. Like, oh, why is this okay, smooch different okay. from all other smooches? Shout out Dan Black and the rest of the Jews. Yeah, fuck you, Charlie. Yeah, I don't get that at all. Right, your mom's name is Teresa, so you wouldn't. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Anyway, so now you're reclining, just like it's yeah. Passover Seder. Yeah. And uh, the key is that you gotta just turn on the Aristocats. All right. Mm. You turn on the Aristocats wow. and you watch the entire goddamn movie because that movie is a masterpiece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so every let me get this right. Every time you want to smooch, you watch the entirety <laughs> front to back of the Aristocrats. Aristocats. Aristocats. Yeah. Don't watch the, the Aristocrats. That one's oh, kind of okay. a food killer. Right. Again, if yeah, you go to SaulYannick.com slash Aristocrats, that's porn. I have a bunch of hay. What I'm getting from this is I should bail it. Yeah, bail okay. the hay right. is important because that's how you get ready. I would also love, I would love to backtrack a little bit. You kind of glossed over the uh, reserving of the room. What's that like? Uh, yeah, Dan, that's just very unique to your to your barn mate dynamic. <laughs> so I don't, I don't even want to <laughs> unpack our barn mate dynamic because it will take hours upon hours. <laughs> okay, all right. If I have, if I'm, if I'm planning on bringing like a special sheep over, a special sheep, good. A special sheep, ness s, special sheep, um, smoochable sheep. Uh, <laughs> do I have to tell like if like the horses are in the barn, like the like like I'm gonna be in the hay that's like in this area of the barn and the right. horses are going to be in the main room. Right. Do you think the horses can still <laughs> chill? The horses are by no means uh, obstructed from spending their time in the rest of the barn as long, as, okay. long as the hay area is reserved. All right. And okay. how far in advance okay. would you alert the horses of your, your future use of the hay area? Right. So, so... Obviously, because what if they got to eat, you know? Right. So you're gonna want to reserve the whole barn initially, but as soon as you go into the hay area, oh. you're gonna you're gonna want to let them know that they can come back into the entryway of the barn. Okay. So you're like you're like go for a trot. I'm gonna I'm gonna progress to the hay bale. Exactly. And then when you're done with your trot, you can come back, but don't right. you dare be hungry after your trot. You exactly. Only hang out. Scheduling in the warm wizard water you are. area. I am so impressed. All right, I think Charlie, we should clap it Char out. Charlie's got a great grasp on this. So I hope all of you out there have learned a lot from me, renowned romantic expert Ellie. Stop laughing. I feel like we didn't, we didn't, we didn't focus enough on the smooching. Oh, the smooching. What do you do with your bottom lip? What, what do you I do with my teeth? bottom lip? Uh, and your yeah, teeth. it's all about it's all about chemistry. All right, so... Uh, Which you know a lot about. <laughs> exactly. You, you can't be afraid to make a mistake. All right? You're going to go in, mm. and you're going to do it wrong. And you're going to do it wrong over and over and over again. And you're going to have to watch the Aristocats every single time. Every time you want... Before every kiss. Uh, which specific chemicals would you use? Volterin gel. Uh, okay. And... And you apply uh, is that, that Is that over the counter? And ethanol. Yeah, really make a cocktail of the two. And you just apply that to your lips and it makes it like more like full flavorful. Yeah, full yeah, so it really takes you out of that adolescent bodied zone, that phase. <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like whatever is the action zone for you, then apply it there. Wow, okay, Got that's it. a good tip. I love this segment, Dan. It's a great segment. <laughs> I'm so sad that it has to end. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I think you've helped us all almost too much at this point. I think everyone's gonna be uh, dating for the next, you know, seven at eight like, years of their life. Right, at just, least once just, per that just seven or eight years. The knowledge, yeah, writing the high off of this knowledge dump. Yep. But I think we right. should move on to the next segment. Does anyone?